And brother Rafiqul will uh, speak about the passion, passion, passion for two believers. Uh, maybe you all say, be patient, brother, be patient, sister. This is uh, something easy to say, but it's very hard to, to do. And maybe brother Rafiqul can. Uh, share for us how to be the passion istiqomah, the passion Muslim. So if we got musibah, how musibah? Yes, 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 yeah, we, we, we can do the best uh, as a Muslim. Okay, uh, before we start, let's say Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> and Surah, surah Al Fatiha. Al Fatiha. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, listen carefully, and after that, if you can ask brother Rafiqul if you have any question. Okay. Uh, Bismillah. 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 Bismillah.
<laughs> okay, um, I just continue. I take this hadith from the Kitabul Riyadul Salihin uh, from the Imam Al Nawawi. Uh, so to open our discussion. Uh, uh, So actually, uh, because uh, many of the material I take from the book, and I'm trying to just make a little summary about this. So for the first half, it's uh, taken from the Abu Yahya Sohaib bin Sina Royal Anhu. He said that Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Ajabani Amri Al-Mu'minin Inna amrahu kullahu lahu khoy Wa laysa dhalika li ahadin illa lil mu'min In asobat hu sarru'u shakaru Fa kana khoyron la Wa in asobat hu durru'u sabaru Fa kana khoyron la So it means that How wonderful is the gift of a believer? How wonderful! When we try to understand the meaning of the wonderful uh, in the shara of the Imam Al Nawawi about this, the meaning of the wonderful that something wonderful is something that we always want to have. It is something that attracting to us, attractive to us. So, for example, that uh, maybe we see uh, like that's that. That's that. So, for example, that like uh, brother Muhammad Amin from Egypt, inshallah, that he have a beautiful voice, and maybe he have a uh, he have a good recitation, and hafiz, he, uh, he have a knowledge about the Quran, or maybe when it's something wonderful, and like a brother, like a brother, uh, Fadli. When whenever he tries to recite the Quran or read the Quran, the voice is very beautiful, very, very, very beautiful. So, in this hadith, that how wonderful is the case of a believer? So, believer is something have something that we want to have. For us, that maybe is not yet in the level of the believer. So, what is the wonderful in that? There is a good purpose in everything. <coughs> And this apply only to believe. This means that almost everything, when someone have reached or maybe achieved the level of the believer, al everything that reflecting from him, or maybe everything that surrounding him, is always inspires others to try to give a positive aura to everyone around him. So it only applies to a believer. So, if someone that uh, assumes himself as a believer, but he cannot bring a good aura, a good positive effect to himself, at least, or to the around surround him, it's questionable that he is whether a believer or not. So, in the next uh, sentence, if prosperity attends him, he has, he expressed gratitude to Allah, and that is a good for him. So every time that someone, a believer, especially, he have any prosperity, any advantage, any gift. Uh, maybe I can use a little Indonesia because uh, hard to. <laughs> Jadi ketika seorang yang mukminun, gitu, ya, seorang yang beriman, ketika dia mendapatkan suatu apa istilahnya karunia dari Allah entah itu kecil atau besar maka insya Allah yang ada sebenarnya adalah tekad pertama yang diucapkan adalah alhamdulillah hal kecil apapun sehingga itu adalah menjadi refleks ketika menjadi seorang yang in the next sentence that if adversity befalls him he endures it patiently and that is a better for him so if there is something bad happened to him, if none other the word that reflects from him is that it is just like, inna lillahi wa inna ilahi wa 
everything come from Allah and will be back to Allah So, uh, these two of every book, how they, he can easily uh, gratitude for Allah, or maybe how he can uh, endure patiently. And here we, 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 we found the word of patience, patiently, endure something patiently. And that is a better for him. So, this two of attributes is the main attribute when you when we try to strive to achieve a similar truth. Another uh, definition of patience uh, from the Imam Al Ghazali in his book of the India in Uluwadi. Uh, patience can also be meaning that uh, when we try to accept wholeheartedly anything that hurts and bring adversity to ourselves and also resist our anger over abuse so in Indonesia that sabar itu adalah menerima dengan lapar dada hal yang menyakitkan dan menyusahkan maaf ya kak maksud so jadi intinya dalam definisi yang uh, lebih sederhana gitu ya so, Imam Al-Ghazali mengatakan bahwa sabar itu adalah ketika kita bisa dengan lapang dada bisa menerima hal yang menyakitkan karena mungkin perkataan orang lain karena mungkin oleh sikap orang lain karena mungkin oleh perlakuan orang lain dan menahan amarah tidak mudah mengungkap dengan kata-kata tidak mengekspresikan dengan uh, wajah ada perlakuan kasar yang dapat orang lain so this is the uh, definition that uh, given from the Imam Al-Wazal about a patient and furthermore that uh, Imam al Ghazali uh, tried to classify about the patient. There are two kind of a patients that uh, mentioned in this book. Um, the first one is about the patient uh, physically or lahiri, and the second is the patient of uh, psychology or body. So uh, actually, there are so many a uh, definition that uh, can describe it as a patient or the the form, the form of patients. And in this, in this, in this, uh, in this. Explanation that he said that like for example, al ikfa uh, is the to feel the urge for lust and hunger. It's the the kind of patient that when we try to hold uh, our our uh, uh, lust in asul is to feel the painfulness and sadness from an accident. So it's, it's a kind of a it's a this word is so close in Indonesian language. Jadi sangat dekat dengan mana kita ya asal Sabar, 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 in the country or some organization because he won the power not because he is something responsible for his people so and he tried to fear this kind of lust and he called it a double nafsi and whenever he tried to uh, take an advantage or try to uh, collect so many, as many as uh, uh, wealth this is called double nafsi another Another uh, definition of uh, patient is that uh, uh, this definition is taken that is the kind of uh, patient when we uh, try to withstand our fear in the battle or in the war against the wrong words or healthy So this is another form. So patient is not only limited to something that uh, <coughs> Uh, to fear a painful or something is is more it's also can some some kind of to fight something it's a different form of uh, patience and another is that uh, it man clearly is to bear our tongue and words so we try to be patient not to uh, uh, say something bad or maybe to say something out of anger <clears throat> this is also some kind of a uh, form of a patience so Yeah. 
Whenever we try to understand the concept of passion from our Quran or something else, we also need to understand that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala sent us the best example, which is our Rasulullah Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So that's why, uh, uh, in every way, even in the in the surah that uh, in the beginning of our uh, discussion uh, in Al Qalam, that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala uh, prays directly to the, our Prophet, not about his intelligence, not about his wealth. But the first thing that he uh, appraised that his akhlaq, how how high or maybe how noble that uh, our Rasul is a very better in the akhlaq. So that's why, like in the Surah Al Aqaf, Fasbir kama sabaru sabara ulul azmi minal minal rusul. Uh, it means that in this ayah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tried to give a motivation to our uh, prophet uh, because all the prophets before him is also uh, face a big a challenge a face a big uh, many difficulties so because uh, being a Russell is also being a, something that very uh, difficult that's why uh, uh, there's, in, in this book that it means that it, it mentioned that uh, all the Rasuls that categorized as Ulul Azmi is the Rasul that have a very high patience. If they, they have a, a, a different classification that so special that it's called as an Ulul Azmi because they have a high patience. For example, in here it mentioned that uh, of course, our Rasul, Nabi, Nabi Allah Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Nabi Nuh Alaihi Salam, Nabi Ibrahim Alaihi Salam, Nabi Musa Alaihi Salam, and Nabi Isa Alaihi Salam. Uh, we know that in the <coughs> in the struggle uh, to spread the word of Tawhid, uh, like the Nabi Nuh, he he had. Uh, his people, his people is trying to harm him and to uh, to hate him. And for Nabi Ibrahim Salam, he was burned by his people because he tried to defy uh, their God or their God. Uh, and for Nabi Musa Alayhi Salam, uh, there are so many difficulties because he had to travel so far away from his uh, home country, and then. Uh, he also have to face the fear out the very uh, ruler, the big ruler in the, in his country, and then and also from his own people, from the Bani Israel. But because Allah wills it, Allah help him. And also like uh, Nabi Isa alayhi salam that it mentioned in here, uh, he and his mother is a uh, face of very much difficulties from the Bani Israel because in that time uh, Bani Israel is uh, accused uh, Maryam alayhi salam that, uh, that Nabi Isa is the, is the result from the Zina so it's a very uh, bad accusement and a false accusement in another in another uh, another ayah there in Al Qalam. It also mentioned about uh, when, of course, uh, a, a prophet, a prophet is also a human, and some of them is also have some. Uh, maybe uh, we we can say that not all of them can uh, face the difficulties in the nation. For example, like uh, Nabi Yunus uh, when uh, when the Nabi Yunus alayhi salam uh, is uh, being uh, 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 swallowed by the a big fish. I don't know what, what kind of fish it was. And then in the in the big fish that uh, Nabi Yunus uh, tried to uh, pray, but when he prayed, that his heart is full of anger because uh, just now that he had being rejected by his uh, his people. And that's why that uh, in that in that case that uh, 
how it's very difficult for us because even 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 the level of prophets can also have that kind of difficulties and they cannot uh, uh, face it properly. So this is very Father more about the discussion. Uh, I'm sorry, it's an Indonesian, <laughs> so it's a second about the what's the meaning of the uh, Sabbath. Aul bilang ini saya tahu tadi. Ahasiban, ahasiban nasu ayut poku ayakulu aman wahum la hisanun. Walakad fatan nalladina yang kabalihim, walayak laman nallaha, walayak walayak laman nallahu nalladina sodaku, walayak laman nal kazibi. Jadi dalam ayat ini disebutkan bahwa tidak mudah memang menjadi seorang yang kembali ke apa yang kita sama jawab tadi dalam menjadi orang yang beriman, orang-orang yang punya level keimanan yang high. Tidak akan mudah Kita dibiarkan berkata bahwa kami telah beriman Sedangkan mereka tidak berjalan Sehingga ayat ini menyebutkan bagaimana kita Pasti akan mengalami ujian Pasti akan mengalami cobaan Dan sehingga dikarenakannya Kita harus siap Mempersiapkan Akhlak yang kita punya Terbaik yang kita punya Sehingga ketika kita nanti Mengalami ujian tersebut Maka kita dikatakan sebagai orang-orang yang sukses Dan sebenarnya bisa naik level menjadi orang yang beriman Jadi tak mungkin istilahnya kita menjadi seorang yang beriman tidak melalui kesusahan atau suffering. Is a so a suffering is a part of test as when a someone a Muslim try to level uh, try to achieve the level of the mukmin is a something that uh, certain. <coughs> Ada ayat in Ali Imran. Aun lagi seperti ini. Datu belaun nafi amwalikum, wa angkusikum, walatas maun na minal dinna, utul kitaba in kabelikum wa minal Waminal ladina ashroku azza kathirun wa in tasbiru wa tatku fa'in zalika bin azmil umur So is the father explain about the what kind of test that we will uh, face when we try to achieve the level of the iman It mentioned that we will be tested with our wealth and within ourselves and also uh, like the people before us and the, and the people that uh, make Allah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so if we try to be patient and taqwa inshallah then uh, we will be uh, have a level of the al I think uh, that's all that I can give a short uh, discussion about this tonight. Uh, I'm sorry that I don't uh, prepare uh, so many uh, discussion or material. I hope that uh, what I can give, uh, maybe there are so many uh, uh, wrong or maybe uh, incomplete explanation. So I hope that in this discussion that we can share together what is the meaning of the patient. And maybe we can discuss more. I think that's all. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.